Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. This is project number two for our multi-project electronics learning board, uh, available for pre-order at EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. The, what, what you have to do is you have to watch the 11 tutorials to understand each of the blocks on the electronics learning board that I'll be showing you in a minute. And uh, this one requires the, uh, the actuator tutorial, tutorial 9, and the sensors 2 tutorial, tutorial number 11, all listed below. And that will talk about our PIR, passive infrared um, motion detector module, uh, our block seen on the left. Uh, our actuator block, in the, in the case where we'll be driving a buzzer with a transistor from the output of our PIR module, and our LED indicator. Now, the LED indicator is used in many of the tutorials, uh, and it's seen in many of the other videos. If you've watched some of the other videos, you'll be very, uh, you'll be very well informed, but the idea is you learn as you go, you understand the electronics, and I turn those into blocks and we plug them all together. In this case, we're making a motion detector alarm system. So the PIR module has three pins, as talked about in tutorial 11, VCC, which is our 5 volt pin, uh, our power supply line, ground, and out. What we're going to do is we're going to connect uh, our, our uh, VCC line to the VCC line on the board, regulated 5 volts, ground line to one of our ground lines on the board, and we're going to connect our output to the LED. And we're going. To, you can um, use this opportunity to uh, play with the sensitivity that's suggested by the two onboard resistors, uh, variable resistors. And uh, what I'd love, like to do is I like to turn the uh, sensitivity all the way left for both of them. And uh, again, that's talked about more in tutorial 11. So watch the tutorials, understand how the circuitry is working, then follow along with me in these project videos. So first of all, I'm going to connect this to my board, I'm going to connect my output to my LED, we're going to mess with the sensitivity. Once we're happy with the sensitivity of our PIR module, uh, we'll feed this line from here to here to here to here to activate our buzzer when someone walks in the room. Now PIR uh, measures, uh, or it, rather it detects infrared spectrums coming off the human body. And there is a Fresnel cap on there, uh, a Fresnel lens rather, that filters out ambient light. So even if you're in a well lit room or in the dark, it can still pick up on the human uh, infrared signature. So let's plug it into our board. First things first, and as seen in the uh, tutorial 11, this is our PIR module. These are the two variable resistors. On the board, these three pins are labeled. Rightmost is VCC, leftmost is ground, middle is our output. So we take our red wire. Um, and plug it into our common 5 volt line. Our black wire our ground connected to a common common ground on the, on the bottom of the board. All of the pins will be offered in the uh, manual. And our output pin, we're going to put it to our LED pin. And then what we'll do is we'll power it up. Now before we go on, that is your Fresnel lens, that is filtering out ambient light. One thing I'd like to note is as soon as you plug it in, the PIR sensor takes about 20 to 30 seconds to stabilize. The output just becomes wonky, and that's basically with every single PIR module I've ever played with. Now, I'm in its line of, of view right now. I'm going to move it away a little bit and zoom out. So I've got it facing my computer. I'm going to move my hand in front of it. And it detected me, and I'll move away. And again. And I'll move away. Back again. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unplug it. I'm happy with my sensitivity. You can actually play with those, res those resistors to change the sensitivity. What I'm going to do is I'm now going to take my output and I'm going to plug it into my ACT, my actuator pin, in the lower right here. And what I'm going to make sure is right over here I've got my actuator uh, selection block. I can choose to drive a relay, the speaker, motor, uh, or a uh, piezo buzzer. And so I've actually got the jumper placed on the left two pins labeled BUZZ. And so now all I have to do is plug it in. But again, once I re-plug it back in, it will take some time for the, uh, for the, for the PIR sensor to stabilize. So I expect it'll, st it'll beep right away. Move my hand in front of it. It's still not 100% stable yet. I wouldn't trust the output for about for 30 seconds and move my hand again. I'm way over here. 
I'll walk in front of it. Move back. I'm way across the room. Move back. Move away again. I'm going to turn off the light now. I'm going to try this light as well. And move in front of it again. Picks me up even in the dark. I'm going to move away one more time. And I move right in front of it one more time. I can't really see very well. So there you go. Now I need to be able to find my way. There we go. Find my way back. So that's it. That's our PIR motion detector security system. Very simple. All this is doing is applying a pulse to our transistor, which drives our buzzer. This does the rest of the work. So this is another one of our very simple projects. Uh, our project is going to become a bit more involved as time progresses, but all of the circuitry is on here. All you need to do is watch the tutorials below, and you'll understand exactly how everything is working. Uh, our A-stable uh, square wave oscillator, based on the 555 timer. Our monostable multivibrator, based on the 555 timer. Uh, our comparators, our operational amplifiers, our, our binary counter, our seven-segment display decoder, our seven-segment display, our sensors, our microphone, our LDR, our vibration sensor, our IR sensor, our relay, buzzer, um, speaker output, transistor driver, so much on this board, and it comes with several peripherals like this PIR sensor module. So many peripherals. It's on uh, engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com for pre-order. Uh, by pre-ordering, you save $20. It took a lot of time to engineer, a lot of time to make the videos. I sincerely hope you appreciate it, or not appreciate it, but enjoy the videos. Uh, I enjoy making them. So take care, and thanks again for watching.